Exercise 3.6 reads, in a certain college, 55% of the students are women. Suppose we take a sample of two students. Use a probability tree to find the probability that A, both are women, and B, at least one of the two is a woman. So I'm going to create a probability tree. So we, in this case, we are sampling, randomly sampling, two, st two students. The very first student we draw can be either a male or man, or it could be a woman. Okay, the probability of being a woman of us selecting a woman, I'm sorry, is 0.55, and the probability of us selecting a man is going to be 0.45. That's equivalent to 1 minus 0.55. The <clears throat> if we draw a man first, um, we can then draw a second student, and again, this has the same probability, 0.55, of selecting a woman and 0.45 of selecting a man. And over here, if the first student we draw is a woman, again we still have the same probability, 0.45 of selecting a man and 0.55 of selecting a woman. The total probabilities then of going the end result being man man, this will be man woman. This will be female, woman, then a man, and this will be woman, then a woman. The probability of selecting both women will be 0.55 times 0.55. Okay. And this multiplies out to 0.55. Point three zero two five, okay. So that equals to point three zero two five. The probability, okay. So that is the answer to part A. Both are women will be point three zero two five, and the probability that at least one of the two students is a woman will be will be satisfied by this case, this case, and this case. So we have to do point four five times 0.45 times 0.55, okay, and that, that's going to be um, 0.2475, okay, and because this is now 0.55 times 0.45, that will also be 0.2475. So let me just clean this up a little bit. This is 0 0.2475, 0 0.2475, 0 0.3025. So the sum for the probability of at least one woman is going to equal point. 2475 plus 0.2475 plus 0 0.3025. That is going to add up to uh, having trouble here. That's going to be have to. get 0 0.7975. My, my math could be incorrect. All right. Now, you might notice that we could have also done, because all four of these numbers will add up to 1, we could have found 0.45 times 0.45.
0.2025, and we could have done 1 minus 0 0.2025, and that would have given us 0.7975. So the probability of at least one woman is equal to this scenario plus this scenario plus this scenario. Or what we could also do is 1 minus this scenario. So uh, there's two ways of solving it, and you both arrive at the exact same answer.